We have the most spineless Congress in history virtually. Why? They are owned totally, lock, stock and barrel. Could you believe that they cannot even get financial reform through? Why? Our legislators, by the way, you can buy them really cheap. We could practically buy one for ourselves here if we had a little whip run. These, the banks are going to make billions and billions of dollars out of the laws that these people will pass. But the contributions they give the politicians are in the low tens of thousands. It's bargain basement stuff. So we live in an era of profound corruption. We live in a time, why are we in Afghanistan? Everyone says, why are we in Afghanistan? Well, it goes back to Jimmy Carter, another Democratic president. When the Afghans tried to reform their country a little bit in the late 70s, Carter and his security chief Zbigniew Brzezinski said, this is a great chance. We can lure the Soviet Union in, we can get them to fight in Afghanistan, and they'll be weakened and it'll be the end of the Soviet Empire. The Soviet Union actually did go to the help of the Afghan government, which was instrumenting some reforms, some equality for women, better treatment of people. It was a bright moment in the otherwise rather dark history of Afghanistan. What happened? Well, you all know what happened. The CIA mounted its most expensive operation in its history, $5 billion. They, they went with the most reactionary landlords, with people like Osama bin Laden, with these leaders, and Afghanistan vanished into the murk of anarchy, corruption, and extreme reaction, which is where it is now. The U.S. has no role in Afghanistan. It has inflicted endless misery on Afghanistan. There's no major security benefit from being Afghanistan. All it's doing is leeching money which should be better devoted to trying to shore the place together here. We live in a rickety empire. I joined, I'm the last to say, a sinking ship. <laughs> Why? Everybody knows this country barely makes anything anymore. It's all made in China. The factories have all gone abroad. There's hardly any jobs left. The Chinese own our debt. This country is hollowed out. And still, what is it doing? It's like someone who's dead but keeps on moving. The military budget is so vast now that it's purely instinct. They just vote money at it. Do you know that 19% of the defense budget goes on Star Wars?